and now we're image stacking this one. So even though it, oh my God. That's insane. Dude, y'all just saw that happen in real time. This is the Hercules cluster. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we just got this brand new telescope delivered in the mail today. This is the Celestron Origin. We've been so excited to be able to try this. It retails for $4,000. So we're gonna be taking this telescope outside and we're gonna be comparing it against the Vionis Hestia telescope. This is a beginner friendly telescope, but it retails for $300. Also in the beginning of the video really quickly, we both wanna give a massive thank you to Celestron because they loaned us this telescope and we now officially have two weeks with it and we have to make sure we take care of of it and use it as much as possible. <laughs> we both can't wait to be able to get to use these because this one obviously is massive compared to this one and we want to see what all it can do. And they call it the home observatory, which we need to figure out what that means. Okay, so I'm gonna have to whisper because we're outside right next to the road right now, but for the Hestia, all you have to do is put your phone on it. And like I said in the intro, this is a smartphone based telescope. So what you do is you basically fit your phone on the top of the telescope and then it sees through the camera with this lens in the back of the telescope and it just acts like a really big like magnifier so what we're trying to do right now is set it up to look at the moon if you can see the moon is right here i'm gonna try to zoom in as much as i can that's as much as i can zoom in on this camera but the moon is right here very bright vibrant there's power lines in the way but we're still gonna try we're gonna see what we can get it to do okay so this is how well we were able to pull the moon up i don't know if the camera that i'm filming on is gonna pick it up good but it does look decent it's just a little bit blurry which you can obviously see but we think that this cheaper telescope is gonna be a lot better for looking at the sun or the moon, but not really like galaxies or nebulas. So basically the Hestia doesn't have an electrical component in it. It's just simply your iPhone laying on top of what would be a glorified magnifying glass. I think we both really like the Hestia for what it does. Like he said, it's not electrical. You just set your phone on it and it's just a massive magnifier, but you're able to get a pretty good picture of what the moon looks like. It's just not the best. Okay, so we both think there's obviously gonna be a really massive difference whenever you compare a telescope like this that's four thousand dollars up against a telescope like this that's only three hundred dollars but obviously a big difference in a telescope like this is a really big difference in what it can capture we think that the hestia is really good for beginners that are trying to get photos of like the sun or the moon or solar eclipses maybe even a meteor shower or like maybe star clusters but for something like this that is four thousand dollars this is allegedly able to take photos automatically track the sky and get really cool images of nebulas galaxies and really far away objects. I do like the Hestia. I'm just not sure about the quality and I'm super excited about the Celestron. I really hope it lives up to my expectations. I think it's going to have the best picture possible. We're going to take this big old bad boy outside. It's going to be a team effort. So we're going to pause the video. We'll be back. We're going to bring it outside. We're going to show you the whole process. We haven't even used it yet. So what we have to do is we have to download and authenticate in the app and stuff on the phone and then we have to set this up. But don't worry, we'll show you the whole process and let's see if we can justify a four thousand dollar telescope let's go Okay, so like we mentioned, this telescope comes with an app and you have to connect the telescope so that it can scan the sky and then you can obviously point it where you want it to go. It's initializing. Okay, so all we literally had to do was just open the app and connect to the Wi-Fi and it's already started initializing. So the telescope is already moving and scanning the sky. It currently says that it's at 6%, so we'll see how long this takes. The telescope is currently moving. It's scanning the sky. We got to turn the light off though because we don't want to mess it up. So it's going to get dark. How are you feeling? It's it's incredible. It has its own fan system to defog the lenses so that it doesn't cloud your vision. There's also a helicopter flying by. Do you see the flashing lights? Or maybe that's a plane. I don't know. By the oh my god, it says it's ready to image already. Okay, so this is what the app looks like for the telescope. This is literally just like an Apple map, but for the planets and stars. So you can basically scroll through it and you can even use the compass mode to get like an AR version of it to see where stuff is from where you are. But basically what I'm getting at, all you have to do is pick what you want and then tell it to go there. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm guessing all you have to do is click center object. Oh, there it goes. Wait, oh, it's showing you the animation of where it is. Don't know if you can hear us or not, Oh wait, I don't know if you can see us or not. <laughs> Pointing it to the Hercules cluster right now, but so far, this telescope is a major win for me. Oh, it picked it up, y'all. Did successfully pick up the Hercules cluster and now we're image stacking this one. So even though, it oh my God. That's insane. Dude. Y'all just saw that happen in real time. This is the Hercules cluster. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That's insane.
I think that this is crazy. It keeps doing so much better every time that it stacks another photo. We want to make sure that this video doesn't go on for hours, so we're going to go ahead and sum it up, and we're going to take all of the photos we got with this new telescope, and we're going to pop them up on the screen now. And what we want to know from you guys is if you like these photos, and if you can justify the price of this telescope based off of what it does. This is the photo we got of the Hercules cluster. We didn't do that long of exposures for these, so keep that in mind. They could be a lot better. This was literally just setting up the telescope scope going outside and giving it like five minutes. If you have a lot of time outside, especially over five minutes, you could get really cool pictures. We just didn't have the time. And just so you know, this telescope has outperformed any of the other telescopes that we've spent thousands of dollars on so far. This is by far the best performing telescope ever. We just got done bringing everything back inside and I have to say that even though this telescope is $4,000, I do really like it and I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I don't. I think one of the biggest things that we both enjoy out of this telescope is whenever you do figure out how to use it, it did take us a minute because we have a lot of other telescopes and every one of them works differently. But whenever you do figure this one out, it literally initializes and scans the entire sky in like one minute, which is crazy because our other expensive telescope that we use for that takes like 20 minutes. So that's a huge difference and it's really, really quick at moving around. So whenever you tell it to go to something, whatever you want to look at, it literally just... Calvin, what is your professional input? If you've got $4,000 to spend on it, it's an incredibly great purchase. So to end the video, we really just wanna know, everybody that watched this video, what is your opinion? Based off of the little amount of time that we had with this telescope outside, were the pictures worth it? I think they were, Calvin thinks they were, but we wanna know if you do. So make sure you obviously go ahead and subscribe to us because if you like this telescope type content, it's gonna go up on our YouTube channel every single Friday. And that will be all. Say bye. Bye.